Golf is one of those sports where anything could happen with your next game. So we thought let's take the guesswork out of the equation by sitting Kieran Pratt down with one of India's premier fortune tellers. No, try for the tournament also, forget the word try. Say I'll win. So you'll win. So could Anamika Yaduvanshi accurately predict Kieran's week at the Avanta Masters? The card says that you know you're a very good player, but I also see that you know at times you make very silly mistakes. Be very careful of the silly mistakes that you make. That's very accurate. It must have been a good card. Act like magician like this. Yep. Then justice would be done. I haven't done tarot card reading, so um, you know I'm always uh, always willing to do uh, willing to do that sort of stuff, I guess. But um, you know, not generally very superstitious at all. You know, not uh, certainly not with golf or. You know, very many other things, so, um, but yeah, it was cool to do it. And Kieran's appearance at the Avanta Masters came courtesy of his surprise win at the Zekabar Myanmar Open in the first week of February. Even the 23-year-old could not have predicted how the first full-field Asian Tour event of the year would turn out. Having got through qualifying school through what he called the back door, Pratt's third round 66 in Yangon helped him into the top 10. He began the final day an unhealthy five shots off the lead. But while fellow Aussie Scott Henn fell away and Kiradech Api Banrat failed to capitalise, Kieran was flying high. When you fire back as a player, you generally don't give yourself a lot of chance, especially on a golf course where people are going really low. It all went my way really on the on, on the Sunday, and you know, I thought, you know, I'm at 13 and they were at 15. So, you know, with the path, the, the last hole, the path five to come, I thought I might be a chance. Pratt went for the green on 18, needing an eagle to guarantee a playoff. With the late hard charging Adam Blythe, Kieran gave himself an opportunity that players dream of. To be in a position to have have that putt is is a great feeling in itself. When you've got a putt like that, you always love to hole it. You know, you just really want to hole it. I've always sort of prided myself on being able to putt really well when it's clutch time, and you know, I've sort of proved myself again that I can I can hold those putts. A three-way playoff with Blythe and Abby Barnrat quickly became a showdown between the two Australians. With Blythe in trouble off the tee in the second sudden death hole, Pratt was in the driving seat. A near identical approach to the par 5 18th gave Kieran the luxury of a two putt birdie for his maiden professional win. It's a feeling he neither wants to forget but can hardly remember. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very nice feeling. I don't know, it's all, it was a little bit of a blur, you know, you got so much adrenaline and you got to hold that three footer, I can't really remember it. A pretty amazing feeling. <laughs> So, with one win under his belt, would Kieran kick on and win again in 2012? These three cards are so amazing. First card is a magician card. You are capable of doing anything which you want to. Okay, the magician card, very nice card. Maybe that card's working for me as well. <laughs> Kieran had that winning feeling three times as an amateur. The Myanmar Open champion who lives just outside Melbourne studied at the same sports institute as Aaron Badley. He lives by the mantra, don't get bitter, get better, and lists the one and only Tiger Woods as his hero. And that might have something to do with playing with and against the former world number one in Kieran's first week as a professional. Really nice way to start, uh, you know, your professional career playing with Tiger. Pretty amazing, but, um, you know, I thought I'd be more nervous than I was. I just kind of enjoyed the moment. It was a cool day and a great, you know, a great tournament. The JB Ware Masters of 2010 saw the duo pair during Saturday's third round. Pratt was understandably nervous. I didn't want to shake his hand on the first tee, and that was a suggestion of my coach, actually. He said, look, go, go shake his hand now, because otherwise you won't be able to hit your first tee shot. So I did that, um, and, uh, and he had a pretty, pretty good first tee shot, I think, so um, yeah, good advice. And the often appalling weather didn't prevent the rookie Aussie outscoring the 14-time major winner by a shot. Usually it's not that important, but when you're playing with Tiger, what you're both having is kind of important. But uh, I think he ended up beating me by about six that tournament, so it doesn't matter. Well, what a moment too for the man he was playing with, Kieran Pratt, who really can hold his head high. 
So, having loved his time with Tiger, could Kieran find that special someone to spend his future with? Your relationships were not very good. Like, you're not letting anybody come to you. Okay. Uh, yeah, look, I haven't got a girlfriend at the moment, but um, to be honest, I'm not really looking for one. <laughs> so while Kieran concentrates on his golf, a golden star to 2012 means the Aussie has a near three-year exemption on the Asian tour, as well as the confidence to predict a bright future for himself. I think it's going to be a good year. You know, I've got it off to a perfect start. Um, you know, I've got, an, got, a, got a great opportunity to, uh, um, to have a really good year, so you know, I'm looking forward to the year.